What's up everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. We got to talk a little bit about Amen Thompson because he's been really, really, really good the last month or so of the season after a really slow start and injuries kind of screwed up the beginning of his rookie season, but he's been putting on as of late and I think it's been impressive and he's got one particular trait or skill set that is going to keep him in the league for a long time that I want to talk about. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Please like the video. Let me know what you think about Amen Thompson and his overall rookie season and what you're seeing lately if you're watching. But the one thing I really want to talk about with him, and it just it blows off the screen, is his defense. Being a 6'7 guard forward kind of blend, and he is he's going to make an all-NBA defensive team at some point in his career because the dude is a nightmare for any anybody. The lateral quickness that he has is able to keep in front of basically every guard in the league and every big forward like he can kind of do whatever he wants on defense and he's super super bouncy super good at it i think that is a trait that you don't see a lot of young players come in and be good at particularly as defense they can come in and get buckets and you know make some highlights but can they lock up Amon thompson can lock up and i think that's partially just due to overall his abilities but being under Ime Udoka probably helps a little bit too. And I think we've seen him kind of grow in the last month or so with when he's finally gotten a chance to play more than 15, 16 minutes a game. And, you know, we've seen some good to great performances out of him. And at, when you look at the overall season for him, right, you start off in October, very end of October, November, he, he gets injured. And, you know, takes him a while to come back. December, he's still injured. Uh, comes back to, like, mid to late December. And then he's kind of only playing, like, 15 minutes a game. And it's like you're playing behind Freddie. You're playing behind Jalen Green, uh, Shangoon, Dylan Brooks, you know, Jabari Smith. Like, there's so many guys that you're, like, waiting in line for your touches. And it's hard to find a rhythm as a rookie. And as a rookie guard, particularly, who needs to, to be on ball a little bit. Because let's the one fatal flaw that he has is shooting. He's not a great shooter. I don't know if he'll ever be a very good shooter. I, I don't know. I think you definitely have to give him a few years to develop that and hope that he gets it. But with him not being a good shooter, on the contrary, he's a very good finisher and very good at the rim. And I think he's good enough in the mid-range too. Like It's improving. The, the three-point shot is just something that I, I do have a legitimate concern with but he's young super young and he has time to figure that out and to tune that that can that can be taught that can be learned so it's not like he needs to learn to get faster that's not going to happen so um ultimately he has a lot of raw tools that a lot of young guys just don't have and when you have the speed the athleticism he has very good vision um it's 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 obvious when you finally get the ball like you, we can tell how talented you are now he's in February, basically doubled his game, right? And he's been given opportunity to play and play more. And he's up uh, from, what do we see here? He's been playing about 30 minutes per game. Well, the last, you know, 12 something games, whatever it is. And in that time where before that he was playing about 15 to 18 minutes a game, he's up from seven points a game to 13 points a game. Uh, he's up from five rebounds to seven rebounds a game. And all, all well, you know, almost putting up a block and over almost two steals per game in that stretch. So this last five games is the important one because this is where we've really seen him kind of take off. Um, basically been a matchup nightmare on defense. Uh, a five steal game against the Knicks. And he had that's an, a game where he had 13 rebounds. Again, five steals and 13 rebounds is awesome. Uh, three out of the last five games, he's had over 15 points, shot over 50% of the field in the whole month of February. And then what, what's the other amazing stat that I saw? Oh, yeah. He, uh, in the last, uh, what is it, the last five games or something like that, he's over three steals and blocks combined every single game. So that is defensive performance. And I think with Udoka, that's what's something you have to show. That's how you earn your PT. And I'm glad. And ultimately, he's gotten this opportunity because Freddie's been hurt a little bit. But in that time frame, just been awesome. The last, what is it, the last six, ga six games that he started. He's only played 38 games, right? He's only started six. But those have all come as of late. 
And in those six, 12 points, 12 rebounds, four assists per game, almost a block, and almost two steals on 57% from the field. Basically, you give him an expanded opportunity in the last six games and you let him start, and you're getting a double-double with four assists and a block and two steals on highly effective 50% shooting. That stuff's impressive. And for me, that just tells me, hey, we need to just let him start the rest of the season. It's not like we're going to get into the, the play-in and, you know, go take down the, the Thunder or the uh, the Timberwolves or the Nuggets. That's just not going to go happen. That's just not going to happen. So you should be focused on the young guys and letting them develop even further. This is really the first chance we've gotten to see him in an expanded role. And that is something that every young player needs in order to develop. But overall, I think we're watching him improve every single game. That's what you want to see out of a young guard slash forward. And ultimately, he needs to be on ball more in order to, to really grow into what they want him to be, being that dynamic combo kind of player that can take over games. You got to give him the ball more and you have to give him that opportunity. But you also got to give him minutes and, you know, let him thrive on defense. Let him thrive in the dunker spot. Let him run some pick and roll. We really haven't seen too much of it. Um, but ultimately, I think... You've been seeing better play out of him. And after a slow start, he's showing this is why I went top four, right? So I think he's got a really, really good career ahead of him. I, like I said, my it's, I, don't, I don't even think it's a bull prediction. He's going to make an all-defensive team at some point in his career. Uh, he has all the juice on that side. Offensively, he, he knows how to play a little bit. Whether the shot comes or not will, is what's going to allow him to go from good to great. And that's something only time will tell. So I... Ultimately, I think he's going to be really good, um, playing really well. Fun stuff to watch. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Amen Thompson's rookie season, what you're thinking as of late, because that's what's important to me, honestly, because this is the biggest you know, set of sample size we've been able to see from him, and he's healthy. So ultimately, I think the Rockets do have a good one. I think it's going to be a great career for him. But uh, yeah, time's going to tell, but he's been cooking as of late. So credit to Amen Thompson. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But I'm done. Thanks. Peace.